Um, oh, hello, good morning. Uh, something a little bit different today, just as a sort of a, a bonus extra-y thing. Um, I, I've got some post. Uh, here it is. Uh, I think I know what it is. Uh, and if I'm right, I'm going to do a sort of little bit of a... on enveloping. It's not really a box. Uh, and uh, talk a little bit about a fellow uh, indie writer... Uh, by the name of Claire Buss. Uh, now, first things first, uh, Claire Buss I first encountered uh, when we were putting together uh, Tales from the Underground. Let's see if I can get that without the reflection on the cover. Uh, Tales from the Underground was one of Inklings Press's uh, anthologies. Uh, it's two or three uh, books ago now. Uh, and it was a book, as the name suggests, all about stories about caves and tombs and uh, thing, things underground um, and Claire submitted a story for this book called Underground Scratchings uh, which was one of the standouts for me personally uh, because it's not quite what we were expecting from the title Tales from the Underground but it's still very very clever. It's a story called Underground Scratchings uh, and it is well worth a read. Uh, now uh, since Claire submitted a story for this, and we put it in the book. Um, uh, I've had quite a few dealings with Claire, one way, one way or another. Um, I got to read her book, The Rose Thief, which is um, a, a kind of Terry Pratchett pastiche, uh, a, a fantasy comedy story about um, a huge city, uh, full of lots of different uh, fantasy creatures and magic uh, and the police force investigating uh, the theft of uh, a rose uh, from uh, the royal palace and it is uh, it's a very funny read I really enjoyed it uh, she has also uh, beta read uh, my book which is coming out uh, later this year uh, and despite the fact that she has uh, full-time responsibility as a mother to young kids and uh, lots of other writing things, she seems to write an awful lot faster than I do. Uh, because since I've known her, she's had two novels come out. Uh, sorry, three novels come out. Uh, and what I think we've got here in our, in our envelope is uh, her trilogy of what she calls, I think, optimistic dystopia, basically. Uh, a future uh, science fiction story where things have gone very, very wrong, uh, but there is a chance that things will go right again in the future. And when she released book three of this trilogy, uh, she ran a competition as part of her launch party on Facebook uh, where you got to name, or got to, uh, you know, caption photos, basically. There's a silly photo, we had to put a caption on it. And... Um, but for better or worse, she chose one of my submissions as uh, as her favourite for one of the pictures. Uh, and as a result, she has sent me, huzzah, uh, the three books in this trilogy. If this is what I think it is. Uh, if it isn't, then this video is being deleted and you'll never see the internet. But here we go. We've got... Um, all right, that's, whoops. Mm, that's pretty well uh, doing there. Yeah, that thought so. So then we have The Gaia Project by Claire Buss, which I think is the... First in the trilogy, uh, and then we have the Gaia effect. I think is the second one. Well, very interesting. They've got they've got a matte cover on them, so they're not quite as uh, reflecty and bouncy the light uh, on that. So that's quite interesting. Uh, and uh, most recently, uh, the one that she's just launched. There we go. Uh, the Gaia Solution uh, is the third book in the trilogy. Uh, they are, you know, they're not sort of huge, hefty tomes between them, uh, but they're a nice, solid feel in the hand, and I, I say quite like the matte cover. That's quite nice, actually. And she's also sent me uh, a Rose Thief uh, bookmark uh, to go with that. Uh, you can follow Claire on Twitter, by the way. It says here at grasshopper2407 uh, and I would recommend you do because she's got uh, quite uh, quite a series of um, uh, d d d 
author interviews on her blog uh, that she tweets about uh, and um, insights into her writing and what she's doing. She's far more active on Twitter than I am. Uh, so yeah, well worth a follow. Um, now, my eyes are rapidly going. I do need to get to the optician and find uh, a new pair of glasses. Uh, so I was going to read the back of the... <laughs> But I don't think I can. That's not any. Co that's not any commentary on her story, uh, so much as it is. Um, oh, I got the I got the order wrong. The Gaia Project is the second book. The Gaia Effect is the first book. So that's that is our first book in the series, and that's got a, a much bigger back text. So maybe I can read that. In City Forty Two Corporation, look. Try that again. In City 42, Corporation look after you from cradle to grave. They protect you from the radiation outside the wall. They control the food, the water, their technology, and most important of all, the continuation of the human race. Kira and Jed Jenkins were lucky enough to win collection. What that means. Uh, but when their friends start falling pregnant, naturally, everything changes. How long has Corporation been lying to them? Is it really toxic outside the wall? As the group comes to terms with the changes in their lives, they discover a much more powerful and ancient force at work, trying to bridge the gap between man and nature. So there we go, that is book one. I, uh, apologies, Clara, I got the order wrong. The book one is The Gaia Effect. Uh, and uh, there we go, very interesting looking. And uh, oh, another bookmark. Uh, and she has signed it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm not going to read that to you. For no reason. Not relevant to you really at all. So there we go. Uh, our, the Gaia Effect and its follow ups, the Gaia Project and the Gaia Solution, are available now from Claire Bus on Amazon. Uh, I am going to give them a read. Uh, and uh, look for a review, at least of the first one. Uh, I've got a lot on at the moment, actually. But look for a review of the first one uh, on my blog uh, in the next couple of weeks, I expect. Uh, thanks for sending them, Claire. Uh, I'm really looking forward to having given them a read. Uh, they have reached Finland. You'll be delighted to know. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give Claire Bus a follow on Twitter. Check out her books on Amazon. And uh, I've got some reading to do. Cheers.